Activity completion. Track progress. Activity completion or completion tracking allows students to see their progress throughout a course using check or tick boxes on the side of activities. The boxes with dotted lines are ticked automatically when students meet certain criteria. The boxes with solid lines, students must click to manually complete them. Activity completion reports are also available for teachers, as we can see here, so they can check the progress of their students in a course. Let's go into Teacher Sam's course and see how to set it up. First of all, Activity Completion or Completion Tracking should be enabled site-wide, so if you don't see it in your course as a teacher, ask your administrator. Our Teacher Sam must first go to the gear menu top right and click Edit Settings. She then scrolls down to Completion Tracking. This should be enabled by default, but if not, she sets it to Yes. Then when she saves and displays, she can go into an activity or resource and set the completion tracking criteria. Our teacher Sam has a course welcome page. If she clicks into it and then clicks Edit Settings, she can then scroll down to select the criteria for activity completion. The choices are not to indicate it, so no checkbox, to indicate it manually, so students click to say they've completed it, or to show it automatically based on criteria. Here, our teacher is going to select manual completion, so students must click to confirm they've done the activity. To display the activity on the dashboard, our teacher must click Expect Completed On with a date. In other activities, such as forums, there are other completion criteria. So if Sam goes into her Introduce Yourself forum and clicks Edit Settings again and scrolls down to Activity Completion, we can see that there are various requirements. And for a forum, for example, our teacher can require a grade or require that students post a certain number of discussions or replies and the activity will only be marked complete when they've done that. We now see a box with a solid border, which requires manual completion, and a box with a dotted line border, which requires automatic completion based on the conditions our teacher has set. Note also the link Course Completion from that drop-down menu. Here, our teacher has three options. She can specify activities required for completing a course, she can change default criteria, that's usually manual, and she can also bulk change criteria which have already been set.